Hey everybody, what's up? Sian Pro Pro here. All right, welcome back to another episode of the RPG Maker VXA tutorials. I'm gonna be talking kind of funny because the inside of my cheek is swollen, but I hope you guys can understand. What I'm trying to say. <laughs> I hope so. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna be making a bank in this episode. Uh, so what we're gonna do is have a little event. Now go to the, check the variable box really quick, only so we can name a variable. Uh, you're gonna want currency, deposit amount, and bank amount. Uh, click OK, but you can actually uncheck it afterwards. So we're gonna need these three variables. You can uh, you can do them whatever number you want. They don't have to be two, three, and four. Just to make sure that you're doing those on three blank variables that you're not using yet. So now we're going to do. First thing we're gonna do is control the variables at the very beginning, or not control switch, sorry, control variables. We're going to set currency to game data, other, goal. Now, right when you talk to the um, the guy, that variable becomes equal to the amount of gold you have. So now we're going to show text, and it's going to be, hello, what would you like to do? You currently have slash V. Two is the two is the ID of the variable, which I'll show you that in a second. Um, so it's backslash V and then half squares, or you don't even have to have the three zeros. You can just have a two. And see two, th yeah, <laughs> zero 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 two was the variable that I used, but for you it might be different. So make sure you're actually using the ID of your variable. You can get it by checking out the numbers on the side right here. So now we're going to do show choice. We're going to say deposit, withdraw, or cancel potato. Whoa, 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 what? Potato. Yes, potato. Cancel potato. <laughs> All right, so when cancel potato, uh, you're going to show text say nr. And uh, on deposit, we're going to do. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna show text and we're gonna say how much would you like to deposit? And then you're gonna do a input number The input number is going to be set to depth amount uh, Makes about seven digits Now what we're gonna do is a conditional branch and It's gonna be if variable I'm sorry about it, by the way if I stop talking like sometimes it's kind of hurting. It's all right. I'll bear with it. So if the deposit amount is less than or equal to variable currency, so if you have enough basically, so that way you can't deposit more than you have. So underneath else, we're going to show text. It's going to say you don't have enough. So now we're going to do... Uh, under, right underneath the conditional branch part, above else, we're going to do... Alright, thanks. Your current balance is... And I forgot to do something, so... Right above the text, we're going to do... Control variables. We're going we're gonna to set the... We're going to add bank amount by... Yeah, we're going to add the bank amount by the variable deposit amount. Now, right underneath that, we are going to do change goal, decrease by variable deposit amount. Now copy this little thing up here and paste it right below these by clicking on this one and pasting if you have it already. So now what we're doing here, I'll try to explain. We are adding the variable bank amount. So we're adding to the, uh, to the bank account the amount of money we have. Or that gets you set, actually. Sorry. Um, it's kind of it's really hard to focus <laughs> right now. Um, so then we're changing the variable, or uh, changing the gold. We're decreasing the gold based on how much we set. And then we're resetting the variable currency to gold, so it equals gold again. Now we're going to edit the sex, and it's going to say your current balance is... Hmm, maybe we should have reword this. All right, thanks. You currently have slash V2. That's how much gold you have. Your balance 
in the bank is V3. I believe it was three. Was it three? No, three was the uh, the deposit amount. So it's four. Again, if you get confused, all you have to do is look at the the, the numbers. See, four is bank amount. So now it's going to tell you how much gold you have on you and how much you have in the bank. Well, I'm going to reword the first thing too. That much on you. Your bank balance is slash V4. So now it's going to, at the very beginning, it's also going to tell you how much you have in the bank. Okay. So, oops. <laughs> Somebody's playing Dota 2. Alright, and that really should be that for that. So now for the withdrawal, we're going to say, well, I'm just going to copy these two, the text and the input number. I'm gonna, ow, I bit my cheek. Ow. And uh, we're going to change it up. We're going to say, instead of deposit, we're just going to say withdraw. Withdraw. Your bank balance is slash V4. That way you can you would know how much uh, you have. So now we're gonna do the input number again uh, for the deposit amount, and we are going to do. If you want to actually reset it to where it always says zero, you can just set the deposit amount to zero before you do input number. Make sure it's not after though. I'm not gonna worry about it though. So how much would you like to withdraw? Your bank balance is that much. Now we're gonna do another conditional branch similar to the first one, but this is a little bit different. So if the deposit amount is less than or equal to variable uh, bank amount. So if you have that much in the bank, you can, um, under else, you would say, you don't have that much. There's also another method, and I can actually show you guys that if you want, just leave in the comments, where you can make it to where it automatically takes whatever you do have if you put over the limit. Okay, um, yeah. So above else, we're gonna say, all right, thanks. You currently have slash v2. We gotta capitalize the, the y. Your current bank balance is slash v4. And uh, I forgot, just like normal, I forgot to do the variables. So. We're going to copy these, and we're just going to modify them. So, control variables, bank amount, this time we're going to subtract by the uh, by the deposit amount instead of add. And how I did that is I click sub instead of add. So then we're going to, instead of minus the gold, we're going to increase the gold by the deposit amount. Click OK. And then this time we're going to do control currency equals the gold. All right, so that is all you have to do, I believe. Now let's have a couple of, let's have a treasure chest here. Okay, <laughs> just give us like six nines. That don't be so dang loud. Holy be Jesus. We are rich. All right, so let's deposit. See, if you try to go like way over the limit, you don't have enough. That enough, yeah, you don't have enough. So let's deposit a thousand. Your bank balance is a thousand. So let's withdraw. You don't have that much. So let's just let's deposit uh five hundred. Your current bank balance is five hundred, and we got five hundred dollars back. So that concludes the bank tutorial. Jesus. <laughs> And, um, cancel Katie. No. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you all enjoyed, and good luck on your game, uh, whatever game you, you guys are making. Uh, if you would like your game to be, uh, have a shout-out, then I will definitely give your game a shout-out whenever it's ready. Just let me know. Send me a PM, and I'll see you guys later.